welcome to Let's Dance Swing. I'm your host, John Hill, and this is my partner, Stephanie. Today, we're going to be showing you a couple of interesting techniques that you can use, starting off from the basic of jitterbug or swing. We're going to be doing a little bit of Lindy, a little bit of jitterbug, but overall, we're going to be dancing, swing dancing, and having fun. Now, keep in mind, we're just going to start off with our basic, which is gentlemen using your left foot, ladies using your right. We're doing four steps here. It's a three count. We're doing one, two, back step, one, two, back step. Everything that I do on this show, Let's Dance Swing, can be done using this basic. So make sure to tune in to our previous shows to learn more of how to swing dance in your own living room. You always want to rotate toward the right side, the gentleman toward the right side, and going clockwise. Remember to smile. It's good for your teeth. Today, we're going to do a little Lindy step. We've already done the first part of it, so tune into our other show. You can learn the Lindy kicks. Today, what we're going to be doing is just switching from one foot to the other and then getting out of it comfortably. Part way through there, we might want to stop and start dancing again. So, the first part is make sure to tune into that other part of the show where you can learn the Lindy kicks because that's where we're going to start off today. So from right here. So as soon as I kick forward with my left foot, I want to make sure at that point in time that Stephanie's on her right foot kicking forward and that my hand is on her waist. This is my hand right here because that helps out tremendously. And notice how close we are here at our hip because if I try and do this, we don't have any balance, we don't have good support. So what we're doing is creating support and balance for each of us and it goes from the back rock so from the back rock, we've already done this, so make sure to turn into that other show. From here, this is where everything changes. We're going to do one basic, which means kicking three times. Now from here, I'm going to let go and reach for her hand. So what I do is I let go of her waist right here. I'm going to reach over. So as soon as I kick forward with my left and she's forward on her right, she knows that something is going to change now because I've changed my hand. So we're going to kick again. Now here, this is where the lead and the tension is very important. I want to have my right hand on top of her left hand, and she's kicking forward with her left foot. I'm kicking forward with my right. I'm going to pull her through and then reach out for her other hand. So here, gentlemen, you're going back on your left and ladies back on your right. We're going to kick forward. As soon as you kick forward, you want to make sure that your hand comes up and over top of her hand. So I'm letting go of the waist, making sure that my right hand is going over top of her hand. So now we're going to kick forward once again with the opposite foot and as we pull through I push away and reach for her other hand. So gentlemen, you're starting back on your left, ladies back on your right. So from the back rock right here, you're going to let go. That's as soon as you're kicking forward for that first step, you're going to switch your hands. Now you're going to come back, kick forward again for that second one. Here you want to swing through. What I mean by swinging through is I'm going to take my foot close to my other foot. I'm going to spin or pivot towards my partner 180 degrees on my heel. And she is doing the exact opposite. And now we kick in the other direction. So I'm going to speed it up just a little bit. And it looks like this. Back, rock, kick, two, kick. So as you see, if you're pulling through, you're forward on, gentlemen forward on your right, ladies forward on their left. As you're pulling through, you want to make sure your foot comes through and it's close. You spin on a heel and then kick in the other direction. If you spin on the ball of your foot, it doesn't work as well. Now we're going to show you one time from the beginning. We're going to start off making sure that you're comfortable as you're going through this. We're just going to show you how to get started, not necessarily to finish it. We'll show you that in a moment. But Stephanie, are you ready? Yes. We're going to start from the beginning, so make sure you are comfortable, which is the opposite of uncomfortable. So here we go. We're going to do one, two, and kick. Do one basic, and then start into it.
The idea about doing a step like this or any step like this is knowing where the timing is. So it helps to count. When I'm counting through this, I'm going to start off doing back rock one, two, three, back rock kick, two, three. But then it changes. I don't have the back rock anymore. So I'm going to kick, pull through, and kick. Put it down, kick, pull through, kick. Kick, pull through, kick. So the timing changes. Whatever you need to do to make sure it works for you, doesn't matter what you're saying, it matters how it feels along with the music. And remember, when you're doing a step like this, it's very important to dance into your knees or relax into your knees so that the front of your knees hit your pant legs or ladies hits your skirts or if you're wearing shorts that you feel your knees or see them bent. Either way, you want to have your knees bent. And what we're going to do now is also lean our bodies forward a little bit because if I'm standing upright and I don't have my knees bent, it's very straight, it's very uncomfortable. So gentlemen, it doesn't look that good. It doesn't look like I'm dancing swing. I'm just going through motion. In order to dance swing, you want to feel the music. You want to feel that beat, how you do that with your knees. So I'm going to lead Stephanie into it. You notice that as we're kicking, we're using our knees, we're leaning forward slightly. It's very important. So remember, gentlemen, you're leaning forward slightly with your chest. You're making sure that your knees are bent. The reason being is right here, we're going to do a back rock. As we kick forward, you notice our bodies are still low. If I'm standing up and I try and kick forward, it's going to be very awkward. And these aren't chorus line kicks. That kick that you're doing forward is right here, just using your knee. So we're going to do a back rock again. So a back rock, kick, kick. Now watch how we kick backwards. Do you see how we kick backwards? We're kicking forward then backward, and our bodies are forward. If I'm not forward and I kick forward and then backward, it's very hard on your lower back, it's hard on your partner, it's hard on the music. So the idea is you want to make sure you're comfortable. So we're going to go through one motion of this just to show you how it feels, what it should feel like actually. So back, rock, kick, two, back, back, rock, kick, two, back, back, rock, kick, What we're going to do is make sure that we can get out of this comfortably and with a partner. So the idea is I want to come back to the beginning from where we started from. We're going to do one kick on each side. What I mean by that is if I kick with this foot, that's one on that side. I kick with this foot on the, same, on the other side. That still counts as the first one. So just one kick on each side. You with me? Okay. So we're going to do our back rock. Now the point of this is to make sure that we can get out of it comfortably. You notice we came back together. After we come back together, I'm back to the beginning. So as soon as I'm back on my left foot, we just came back together, I'm back to the beginning, I can do anything. What looks really good though, I'm going to lead Stephanie to step in front of me with her right foot by using my right hand, which is right here on her waist. So I'm going to lead her to step forward, and then I'm going to turn her, and then she does her back rock. We're back to our four count basic. So one more time, I'm going to lead Stephanie from here after her back rock, because we're back to the beginning, to step in front of me, and then to step around, and then a back rock. Then we're back to our beginning with our one, two, back rock. So we're going to show this from another angle. We're doing the exact same thing. We're going to do one kick on each side, which might be two in your mind, but we're calling it one kick on each side, and then come out of it together. So the idea is we want to come back to where we started from. So we're starting from here. So we're going to do our back rock. We're going to kick. Do one basic, make sure I'm with my partner. Now here, go through it, kick on this side, we're back together. In order to lead her out, I want to lead her step forward, spin her, and then back rock. We're back to our four step basic. So from here, gentlemen, you're starting back from your, your left foot, ladies, you're back on your right. This is where we're getting out of it. So we're back from here. We just did our series of kicks, one on each side. I'm going to lead Stephanie to step out. As I lead her to step out, 
You notice how I'm just planting my left foot, which is here. <laughs> and then I'm going to lead her to step, and then we're back to our back rock. So we're going to try that one more time from right here. And gentlemen, in a move like this and everything that we're doing, it's very important to make sure, and I emphasize this, to make sure that you're shifting weight. You notice how little my back foot moves, my right foot, or how little Stephanie's foot moves, but the idea is it moves so that I can shift the weight. Now, when you're doing something like this, you want to make sure that you're leading your partner, not throwing. Very important. What I mean by that, gentlemen, I'm going to use my right hand. We're going to start off from the back rock. And as I'm starting off from the back rock, Stephanie, you're going to step forward with your right foot. I'm stepping back with my left. I'm going to step forward with my left foot. So if you notice right there, my arm is still with her. I'm not throwing or pushing her away from me. Now I'm going to pull back. I just led her forward. I'm going to pull back using my right hand on that same side. At the same time, I'm pushing with this part of my arm. So I'm pulling back and pushing with the inside of my arm. What that creates is a spin effect. I'm not going to get into the logistics of it, but if you do it too hard, she'll just, she's gone. So the idea is right there and just a little spin, just like a top. But she looks a lot better than a top. So from right here, we're going to do a back rock. And we just finished our kicks. Lead you out. And then gentlemen, put out your left hand. You're back to your four count basic. Thanks for joining us today on Let's Dance Swing. I'm your host, John Hill, my partner, Stephanie. And as always, we showed you a little bit, not too much at one time, because it might overwhelm you, but just a little bit of how to dance swing. Today we went over some Lindy kicks and how to variate them into your dancing.